Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostle Elders, a great millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shot there from the Chicago camp. Coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. And this is from uh, the Common Sense Show with Dave Hodges. And it's entitled, It Will Soon Be Every Man for Himself. And if you can't see that you're more blind than Ray Charles and Clarence Thomas with a, in a dark room with a blindfold, because clearly everything that's happening in the United States and across the world is building up to the climax of what we will see in civil war, race wars, famines, food riots. All right. And that day when resources are scarce and there's no money, it doesn't matter who who you're friends with, doesn't matter how much time you spent together. All right. It's going to be every man for themselves. So let's let Mr. Hodges speak on a few things. Just a real brief presentation here about an interview I conducted with my friend Steve Quayle last night. It's now available on the CommonSenseShow.com. But my stark warning to America, every man for himself. And I'm telling you right now, people, if you want to reverse this and have any of the smallest chances of reversing what's coming, we need all hands on deck and to become an active part in what's going on. The fact is, the stats tell us that over 90% of America will do nothing. They'll just sleep right until their death, and they won't even try to act in their own self-defense. That's what the data tells us. That's what the FEMA data tells us in their research. That's why they're continuing with their dastardly plan to bring America down. And soon, it'll be every man for himself. My name is Dave Hodges. I'm you heard that? According to all the data he's collected, it's going to come a time where so much hell is going to break loose that it's going to be every man for himself. And you know what? Let me get a classic uh, scripture. Jeremiah 30 and 7 it says alas for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it so this time where every man is going to be for themselves is this time all right granted this judgment is for Jacob but everybody's going to be catching the flux not just Jake everybody's going to be catching it Everybody is going to feel the strain of not having a job, not being able to eat, not being able to have shelter, not being able to have clothes, not being able to provide for yourself and your family. Everybody's going to be feeling it. And I have to correct Dave and let him know that there is nothing that you can do to change this because it was prophesied in the Bible. As you go to, we're going to go return, void. Isaiah 55 and 11, it says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. So if the Lord prophesied that there be a time in this entire world like never before, then it's going to happen. The time that Dave Hodges is speaking of, the time that the Bible is speaking of, that every man for himself, that's going to happen.
You got the boogeyman running loose. Everybody's still bugged out over COVID-19. All right. Look what you got here in Chicago. What was it? 101 shot, 14 fatally. Uh, and there was something else. And they're not even including the people that, that got stabbed up. All right. It's getting hella vicious out here. And people think that this is bad. You ain't seen nothing yet. So let me see if I can skip past this intro and get to the point. Or why should I say the rest of the video? This is why you need to obtain it now on your own. Everybody needs food, water, guns, gold, ammo, medicine, and tools. We're going to help you with the food with a great discount on the four-week emergency special. We recommend you buy multiple sets. That's the best deal. Hey, everybody needs the Lord. <laughs> and I can't even say everybody. All right. You, you don't need food, water, guns, clothes, and ammo. All right. You need the Lord. Because if you don't have the Lord in that time, you're not going to make it. As it says, I believe it's in Psalm where it says the name of the Lord. It says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. I think that's how it is. Let me put it on pause and find it. I can't find it, but uh, this is a good one too. Psalm 124 and 8. It says, Our help is in the name of Yahweh who made heaven and earth. All right, so food, water, guns, clothes, gold, silver, ammo. Hey, that's not going to help you. All right, the name of the Lord and what he represents, that's what's going to save you. When all this hell breaks loose and it's every man for himself trying to get what you got or get what you ain't got. Let's continue. Deal available right now and you can get yours, your 25 year shelf life food. You can get your tasty food at preparewithdave.com. Well, the interview I did with Steve Quayle last night and then, of course, uh, two days earlier with Celeste Salam, followed by uh, a, a, a current federal law enforcement insider, is stunning, sobering, and they all speak to the same theme. You, you, right there, every one of you out there in America is soon going to be on your own for your own protection. This, I used to compare what was coming to the Bosnian Civil War. I think the Bosnian Civil War will be tame compared to what's coming to America. And why? Because this is a great country with great resources and, and some tough people. And it takes a lot to bring down a nation like America and all the stops are being pulled out right now as we speak. And let me also add that America, Babylon the snake, is the great place of judgment. Okay, that's why it's going to be the worst over here. For all the, the wickedness that is done. From the, the day of its inception till now, this place has only uh, uh, profited and prospered under bloodshed, lies, murder, deceit, witchcraft, and every other abominable thing under the sun. This is how this place was established. This is how it's prospered. And that's why it's going to be the worst place of judgment around this entire world you know what let me get that uh let's get uh babylon uh let me find it real quick let me pause it all right I'm going to get a few. 
uh, this is Revelation 18 and 21. And it says, a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And why? Let's get down to the verse 24. It says, and in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. And as I said before, how was this place established? How did it prosper? How did it flourish? Off the blood, sweat, and tears of the backs of you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And that's why American is going to have a horrible judgment. Also, when you go to what's that, Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, where it says, uh, what was it, Babylon have been a golden cup. Jeremiah 51 and 7, it says Babylon, which is America, had been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. All right. This homosexuality, these lies, this witchcraft. All right. When you go to the book of Jude, it clearly says that if any nation, you know, what, let me just get that. If any nation were to practice the same things that the other cities of Sodom and Gomorrah did, it was sure to meet the same fate with fire and brimstone, okay? Jude 1 and 7, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like matter giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire okay likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh despise dominion and speak evil of dignities so yeah this is the main reason why America has the worst judgment all right Galatians 6 and 7 hey you you reap what you sow so let's let some more of this video play this emerging civil war that we're in is not going to dissipate. Don't let the events in Seattle fool you. This tyranny, this rebellion is going to spread like wildfire. And when it goes hot, and that's not far away, we are going to have a long, hot summer. The Chinese are prepared to come in. They may come in under blue helmets. This is the only thing to be decided. Or they may just come in on their own. We have embedded Chinese soldiers in this country. Steve and I talked about that last night. We've talked about it for seven years. Steve's talked about it for two decades. Yet people just want to keep their cognitive glasses on and, uh, and dis cognitive dissonant glasses on and not pay attention to what the live evidence and the people tell us. I had a man who wrote to my website. It is true. All right, the elites of this world, hey man, they, they got this whole thing set up so they can just start putting billy clubs and boots on all you people here in America. That's what it says, uh, what is it, the, what is it, uh, as a flood. Let me put it on pause and find it. All right, I found it. Okay, because he was talking about these Chinese troops, all right, under the uh, supervision of bad uncle Esau, ready to come in. This is Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood? Like he said, whether they be uh, uh, UN or otherwise, amen. These guys are going to get this whole Civil War thing cracking. They put it in the movies, Captain America Civil War. All right, they're letting you know the time is now. Everything is set up to happen now to, to bring forth its uh, climax, if you want to say, for lack of a better phrase. Everything is set up to bring forth the climax of everything in history. So let's continue. 
compelling account of something I already know to be true, that the Mexicans apprehended a bunch of Chinese nationals trying to cross the border. I understand from DHS that the single biggest increase in border captures right now are in two categories. Child to say that Steve and I have ever been wrong on this point. In fact, the evidence piles up to the opposite. And one other thing I'm going to leave you with here before you go and read that article, or excuse me, it is an article format, but it's an interview, radio interview. One of the things that you need to know quite clearly is that um, this is orchestrated between the forces on the left that are taking away the Constitution, that are responsible for the unreasonable restrictions placed upon you today, and they're coordinating with the Communist Chinese. Now, <laughs> little does he know, he's right, but he's kind of off because the way he uses the term left, he's talking about the Democrats. But really, this is orchestrated on the left, on the left-hand side. All right, because ultimately everything is done through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Nothing goes on, nothing lives, nothing dies, nothing moves, nothing breathes, nothing happens without their say so. All right, so all this is being orchestrated on the left hand side. Okay, and when this time comes. You need to be ready. As the scripture says. No hedge. I get this a lot. And I believe it's in the Apocrypha. Ecclesiastic is 36 and 25. And it says where no hedge is there the possession is spoiled. And he that have no wife will wander up and down mourning. So if the Lord ain't dealing with you. All right. You're going to get messed up in that time. You're going to cry out for help. You're going to want somebody to save you, but it's not going to happen. You'll be left to the devices of, I guess, for lack of a better phrase, Darwinism, the survival of the fittest. All right. Might makes right. And let's get a quick example of this. Uh, it's in Maccabees. Uh, let me find it real quick. All right, I found it. This is in the book of Maccabees, first Maccabees, the sixth chapter and the 43rd verse. Because when you read this, all right, you had a guy, all right, that was basically he was doing too much. All right. He wanted to be like the Maccabees. He wanted to be the star of the show, get the recognition. All right. But this is a great story on how if the Lord ain't dealing with you to do something, you're going to have a tragic end. So this is 1 Maccabees 6 and 43. It says, Eleazar, also surnamed Suaron, perceived that one of the beasts armed with royal harness was higher than all the rest, and supposing that the king was upon him, put himself in jeopardy to the end he might deliver his people and get him a perpetual name. So already he wasn't even doing it for a righteous cause. He was just doing it for vain glory. It says, Wherefore he ran upon him courageously through the midst of the battle, slaying on the right hand and on the left, so that they were divided from him on both sides. Which done, he crept under the elephant and thrust him under and slew him, whereupon the elephant fell down upon him, and there he died. All right. See, the Lord wasn't dealing with him to do such a thing. All right? He was just there. Hey, man, he, I, how should I put this? He was doing his role in helping his kinsmen. That was his role. He wasn't supposed to go out and do his own thing. And because he did that, he paid the price. And this is why when this time comes, which is soon approaching, where every man is going to be, and woman, is going to be on their own, hey, 
You need to have the Lord on your side. Because when that time comes, the Lord is going to make sure that you're straight. As it says, and I'm going to end it on this. Uh... Let's see you laugh. Pause one more time. Let me find this. I found Isaiah 65 and 13. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Howard Power, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen, for your Howard power shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. So, hey, if the Lord dealing with you, you don't have anything to worry about when this time comes. Because all of this is prophesied to happen. And whoever is for the sword is going to get the sword. Those for the death to death, the famine to famine, the captivity, captivity. Hey, whoever the Lord got chosen for those things, it's going to happen. If you're going to get caught up in this civil war, race war, food riot, hey, then that's your judgment too. But if you dealing, if, if you in good standards with the Lord doing what you need to do, hey, don't worry about it. You'll be all right. So with that being said, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostle Elders, the Great Millstone, who will will. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. With that, we're going to say Shalom.